Hey guys, this is Mark. Um, I wanted to just show you what I'm doing today. I am pulling out a few of my iPhone photos that I've taken over the past um, couple years. And if you're from Durham, you've probably seen these places, but this came from a project I did um, down at the American Tobacco Campus. Um, but these are all iPhone photos, and they printed them for me down there. And I'm finally getting them, um, I guess, matted and framed myself. And I just wanted to show you what I'm doing there. And just how, um, how an iPhone photo can look if printed out. So a lot of us are concerned because we think that because we look on a really small screen, um, mine's broken, but... Um, because we look on a really small screen that also the pixels on that screen are smaller and there's less pixels but that's not necessarily true because when I take a phone photo um, you know like like when I take a photo of myself hang on let me turn it around like when I take this photo um, and then I pull it up like it looks like that image is really small but it's only because it's on my phone and there's actually like thousands and thousands of pixels and if you printed them out they would look it would look like this um, and it would be very clear and sharp and um, just like any other kind of camera so but I just want to show you what I was doing and and I don't know where I'm gonna put these but I just thought it was really cool that you know the photos I've taken from my seemingly uh, cheap camera here the the iPhone um, are now being printed and put up as art you know so it's um, it's pretty interesting to think about how we've gone from you know film to digital and me just um, totally being immersed in the digital because that's what I teach you can see my classroom behind me but me being totally immersed in the digital um, for so many years, it's it's really really interesting and and strange to be using my phone to make printed art now, you know, um, and you know I never thought I would ever print out my iPhone photos and put them up on a wall because um, you know it just doesn't make sense to from that to that like you don't think that's possible, but it is it is possible and. Um, I just didn't know, and we just didn't know, so I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but I just wanted to share this with you guys, because I just think it's a really interesting, mind-blowing thing that I am putting up these huge iPhone photos, and I'm putting them in mats here, and I'm going to put them in frames. Um, here's my bonsai tree. It looks like it needs some serious uh, water. And, uh, you know, so it's really, really interesting. I would be interested to see y'all's iPhone photos uh, printed. I know that um, Artifact Uprising is really working on their projects uh, for printing Instagram photos and and mobile smartphone photos um, and making it easy for us to do that more, which I really, really love and appreciate. I love Visco and what they do in Artifact Uprising and, and how they are um, pushing the the boundaries of uh, photography, art, and really, really allowing me as a photographer to be an artist, a, um, a fine art photographer, working with print, um, and not just digital anymore, you know. Um, even though I wasn't trained in film photography, um, I, I love it. I do, I love it, and I love, um, I love print work now, too, you know. And, and again, you know, I do love, I use Artifact Uprising, I use Visco, and I love their work, and, and I love how they empower me as an artist, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think I edited these using the Visco app, Visco Cam, uh, and then I think I brought them in Lightroom as well, and messed around with them in there, too, so, you know, it's a lot of fun to push yourself and challenge yourself, uh, different mediums, different contexts, um, just be curious, you know, that's really what pushed me there, 
to be able to make stuff like this, you know. I think that one happened like I just left a bar when I shot that one. This one was outside of my son's school in Central Park in downtown Durham, and this one's uh, right near there too. Um, this is a building um, that medical students at Duke do research in, Duke University. So three very, very iconic kind of um, places in a in a town that people walk by and, and um, experience every day, but because I had my phone with me there, um, I was able to allow people from the community to um, experience my art and my work uh, from my phone in a physical, tangible way, um, and hopefully I was able to communicate it to them in an artistic way too. So. Yeah, um, it's what I love. Uh, photography is not just photography. It's um, it is what it is. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all so much, and I really appreciate everybody's comments and feedback and and a lot of your critiques too. You know, I'm not a big photographer. I'm just a small town guy, um, but I love this, and I, I know you guys do too. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.